Hi, Carrie Cutler here, author of Math Positive Mindsets, Growing a Child's Mind Without Losing Yours. And I'm here today with two of my sons, Quinn, he's six, and McGregor, he's eight. And we're gonna do something called a number talk. Number talks are very popular right now, and you can learn more about them by looking at the Math Solutions website and looking for a book called Number Talks by Sherry Parrish. Here's how I'm doing number talks while we're homeschooling right now with kids who are a variety of ages. So check it out. Here guys, I have a number right here, the number 120. And I want you to think of some ways that you could make the number 120 using other numbers. When you have an idea, put your thumb right here. Don't shout it out. And when you have a second idea, put up your next finger. Keep thinking until you've thought of as many ideas as you can, okay? Quinn, let's take an idea from you first. At um, 50 plus 70. Okay. Can you tell us how you knew that 50 plus 70 is 120? Because I know that 60 plus, plus 60 equals 120. But but the seventy is 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 twenty more than the fifty. Oh, okay. So you saw that these two facts are related to each other: fifty plus seventy and sixty plus sixty. They and fifty plus sixty would be close, but it's not really. It's a hundred ten. It's not quite enough to be a hundred twenty, huh? Huh? It's 110. Okay. Very close. Can you tell me how you knew 60 plus 60 was 120? Because I may remember that 6 plus 6 equals 12. Okay. And how does that help you with the number 120? Be because because 12 times 10 equals 100. Okay, so because it's 12 groups of 10. That's right. It is 12 groups of 10, isn't it? And we would have 6 plus 6 equals 12, and then we need to be in the hundreds place instead, huh? So we have to times it by 10. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now, McGregor, so you put tell a, me? So put a zero right here, and a zero right here, and a zero right there. Okay, for the 60. Thank yeah. you. McGregor, can you share your idea? So, I had a lot of time to think. I have a lot of ideas. Choose so. your favorite one for right now. Okay, so this one will be using the distributive property. Oh my. Tell us about it. So I'm going to have 20. Okay. Plus 20. Great. Ta ta and what does, that e what does that equal? That equals 40. Okay, so that's 40. And then times it by 3. 40 times 3, and that equals 120. That's because there's 40 groups, because there's 40 groups of 3. three. It sure or is. Or 3 groups of 40. I couldn't make another one with 3 times 4. You could do it the other direction, couldn't I mean, you? 40. 3 groups of 40 would also do it. If, uh, That's what I love about multiplication. You can do it in either order. Yeah. The commutative property, huh? Also, you could... Also, I have another idea. 220 minus 100. Oh, that's another made way to make 120. We never said we couldn't do subtraction or division, too. Any operation would be good. Thanks, you guys, for helping me with the number talk and for showing people how it works to use a number talk at home with kids that are different ages. Have a great math-positive day. Thanks.